Hi, what we've got today it's some belts it's an alternator belt and a compressor belt for your air conditioning compressor we'll be changing them in this next trail but rules are pretty similar in all of them there's axes that will be different so I'll show you first the alternator side alternator it's just behind you Headlight down there. If you look down from your screen wash tank, that's the alternator. Alternator in this particular model has two bolts allowing a movement. It doesn't have a free movement. Some alternator, some alternators you'll find that as soon as you loosen the locking bolt, you can work and move it backwards and forwards. This one's a little bit different. So even if it's not obvious straight away there's another bolt so first in the 12 millimeter spanner loosen that bolt there and then there's another bolt it actually allows the movement of the alternator so i can get you to see it down there can you see it there's a bolt inside Actually, alternator only moves backwards and forwards as much as that bolt allows. There's a head of the bolt just underneath the wiring loom here. It's 12 millimeters as well. So you loosen the bolt on the side, which is attached there to this side of the bolt. And then by maneuvering this bolt, you move in the alternator backwards and forwards. So loosen the bolt on the side. And then we wind this bolt anti-clockwise to loosen it for the alternator to work its way back in towards the engine and slacken the belt. That's our alternator belt. But the alternator belt is actually the inner belt. The outer belt is the compressor belt. So we'll have to remove the compressor belt first. Let's get down there. That's underneath. As we get underneath the cap, there's our compressor. The belt's in there. You see it? That's the belt. This vehicle's got it's a similar roll. This one doesn't have a locking. Same thing. Un undo this bolt, and you'll notice that the Pulley, the wheel behind it, will work its way up and loosening the belt. There's a plastic cover which I would advise you to remove. You've got one clip here, one clip is right in the corner. You're supposed to have three more clips or bolts here. I've got a clip there holding this panel. Got a clip that is missing. There was a bolt there. I was trying to undo it and snapped it. And one bolt there. So I'll have to drill this out and insert the clip in there. Once you've taken the cover off, see, it's our belts. See, that's the pulley. This is our compressor. That's the drive belt, top one, bottom one. Oh, and top pulley. Now, let's loosen them out, drop them out, see how bad they are. First, we'll do the bolt compressors. There's that one underneath, then we'll move to the alternate. So remember, underneath the compressor, under, there's a little pulley in the middle, and I'll be coming off first, then alternate the two bolts on top, and you can just take the belt out. We've got the belts out. This one, unfortunately, I couldn't even use. I'm glad the compressor belt doesn't wear that quick, because it's a little bit too long. When it comes to alternate the belt, actually if you can tell half the teeth are missing look at 
the state of that. Look at the cracks in it. Terrible, sort of terrible state. Teeth are missing. So alternator belt definitely needed changing. Compressor belt. This one's the wrong length. Well, go back to the top. Once you've got your belts on, you need to tighten them up. So remember, you've got one bolt at the side. The fixes in place there. One bolt inside there is responsible for tightening the belt. Remember, when you tighten the belts, you want them to be tight. You want a little bit of a wiggle in them. So give them a little move up and down. A twist. If you can twist it a little bit with one finger, that will be tight enough. Don't need to be any tighter. If you put too much pressure on it, it's a bit of a moment. If you put too much pressure on the belt, you might damage bearings in one of the pulleys or alternator or other ancillaries. So be careful tighten it. But make sure there's some sort of play in it. Same underneath. There's our belt here. You can see it. It's tight, but there is a bit of a play on it, so we know it's not putting too much tension on the bearings. I can move it easily with one finger without pulling it away from the reel. That's what you want. Give a little twist. So, 